how to marinate beef chuck asada using my homemade recipe and then cooking it on the blackstone. Ooh, what? I'll show you guys how to marinate carne asada today using just four different ingredients. This is how I normally marinate my carne asada. Let's get it. All right, guys, so get yourself a bowl and I'm only gonna marinate half of this beef chuck asada. And look, this is cheaper than buying it at your Mexican store and much better, okay, by the way. So get yourself some mustard. We're gonna be using mustard as our binder. Go ahead and give this thing a quick toss. And then next, we're gonna be using some soy sauce. I like the flavor of soy sauce. It gives it a little salt flavor to it, a little tang. And then get yourself some Montreal steak seasoning. If you haven't tried this, it's from Costco as well. It's super good. And then put some tahini. And if you don't like salty meat, I would put a little less of everything that I just put, put half. But I do like it salty. So let's go ahead and add some paprika. This is what's gonna give us that red, very dark flavor. This is, doesn't have too much salt. It's just gonna give it that nice color, all right? I put a little bit more soy sauce because when you start putting the paprika, it starts to uh, get a little too dry. So look, this is the finished product, nice and red. This is a regular one. So look, I cleaned the blackstone, I oiled it, it's ready to go. So it's nighttime now. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my meat on there. I'm gonna put my red meats on the right and I'm gonna put my regular meat with no paprika or tahini on the left. I didn't know if the kids were going to like the red one or if they're going to like the regular one. So I personally like the red one more. The paprika and the tahini give it a great flavor. If you haven't used those together, they're like a badass duo. You got to try it, man. We got the two meats cooking. One has more paprika in it, basically, and the other one just doesn't. That's what made it more red. We're going to try both of them out and let's see which one tastes better. This meat here, it's gonna take about five minutes per side. So it won't be too long before this meat is cooked. We're gonna be making tacos. I'm not gonna show the tacos. I'm just gonna show the meat today. All I wanted to show you guys today is how to marinate carne asada, simple way, in a delicious way. All right, so it's been about five minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and start flipping these things. Smelling so delicious and I'm gonna go ahead and flip the next one and flip the other ones that don't have marinade on them, which is just uh, non paprika and tahini, really. So at this point, I'm just gonna throw some more oil because sometimes it starts to stick a little bit, but you can just add a little bit of oil and that kind of fixes that. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this thing. These are ready to go. I'm getting pretty excited at this point and I can't wait to try these things. And let's go ahead and pull them off, put them in some aluminum foil, and let them rest for about a minute or two. All right, guys, the moment of truth. We have the red one. We're gonna try this one out first. Oh! Man. That's really good. Oh! Salty, just like I like it. Let's try the regular one. This is a really good cut of meat. Costco, you can never go wrong. Oh. Man, that's fire. Look at it. Nice and tender. You can see that little, little fat nerve. This is a chuck asada. This is really good. Oh. Hmm. Try this recipe out. Let me know if you liked it. I know you will. It's quick and easy. Don't forget to subscribe. Like, comment down below.